All right, so I got this new Asus RT-AC66U router, and I take it home and I'm trying to figure out, well, how do I set this up with OpenDNS so that, you know, I can restrict and have uh, certain domains blocked and also make sure that that address updates with OpenDNS. And I had no idea how to do this when I first got into it. So here's, here's what I do. You set up your router, get that all set up and working. Fine, great. Then what you do is you go in to your WAN settings and you'll see here, I'm using a cam camera, sorry about that, so the picture's not great, but configure it in the internet connections into um, you know this setting here. You wanna change this to no and then you wanna put open DNS's IP addresses right there in those two spots, okay? Then hit apply your settings. So now you've got that set up, right? You can see that um, then what you do is you'll go to your OpenDNS site and OpenDNS is here. So you'll go into dashboard, then settings and select a network, whatever, your home network. Here's mine. And then you'll pick whatever filters you want. You'll you'll hit apply or okay. Um, not sure where it is on this site, but anyway, the point being is you'll set up your web content. You'll have that all set up and then you will simply hit the button status. And and this will actually check to see the stats for your network, which I have. Okay, so this is your IP address or your WAN IP address. It's the one your cable company provides your router. So in the outside world, that's your IP address. Now, you don't really have to do much with it, but when that changes on your router, and it will um, because your internet service provider is basically set to automatic. So basically you're gonna get different IP addresses from them. And then your open DNS or your open, yeah, your open DNS stops working. So what you do is you go to this website, DNS Omatic. DNS Omatic is obviously a service of open DNS. From there, create your account. You don't have to do a whole lot. Basically, it will then basically just this is all you get. You'll just see this little thing here and you'll and you'll go, what do I do? What does this even do? And this is a big tip here, your history. This history shows you how many times it's updated and every time it updates. And what this DNS Omatic does is it reports this information to open DNS as to what your WAN IP address is. So how, you, how do you set it up on your router? Well, back in the router, under the WAN settings, right? And then from there you go up to the top where it says DDNS. Okay, so you go into DDNS. Now here you set your um, registration as a successful, sure. This is where you set up your DMAT, DNS, I can't focus it, sorry. Your DNS OMATIC settings. What that does, if you follow me and just put in this and put in this host name and then put in your email address and password, please don't email me, um, this will automatically give, and it'll update DNS-O-Matic so that it knows your, um, it a actually DNS-O-Matic asks your router, um, no, sorry, I know it's slightly confusing. Your router then will ask DNS Omatic for the IP address of your WAN. Once it gets that, it then reports it over to OpenDNS so that OpenDNS stays the same. And therefore, you will always be protected by trying to go to sites that are unwanted that you set up in OpenDNS. I hope this explains it. I know it's kind of confusing, but if you follow the setup and set it up kind of similar to what I have, it should work and uh, you will continue to have a open DNS working uh, and uh, your router will be connected uh, always to block those certain websites. Uh, thanks.